to sleep. Oi, Sleepy, you in the back row with the red jumper. Wake up and don't be beside you too. Honest to God, but with your woman over there who sneezed all throughout the last act, it's like having the blue and second awards in the audience. Okay, okay, what's the counter joke to to live in this bunch up? Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Well, they do seem a little bit more awake now. Well, let's just check by asking them to read out some cards. Sleepy in the back, are you awake? Give Dopey there beside you a nudge. Okay, everyone, please read these cards as loudly as you can, and don't be bashful. <laughs> you can do better than that. <laughs>
I'd better go and find out what's wrong. Hello, singers. Hello, Buttons. You don't look very happy. Aren't you going to the concert tonight? I can't, Buttons. Look at the list of things my sisters have left me to do before tonight. No wonder they're known as the ugly sisters. Excuse me! You can't say things like that! Why not? Who are you? We are the politically correct officers. You can't call people ugly. It's not allowed. But this is a panto. They're always called the ugly sisters. What am I supposed to call them? I believe the new phrase is the... Beautifully challenged sisters. <laughs> but who will know what I mean if I say that? Besides, it's not because of what they look like that they're called the ugly sisters. It's because the way they behave is so mean and ugly. Sorry, but that is the rule. You must refer to the sisters as the beautifully challenged sisters from now on, or the show will not be allowed to continue. I can see these fellows are right out of pests. I put some fleas inside their vests. <laughs> hey, Cinders, two people tried to ruin our show. Before they get back, let's go, go, go. Hello, everyone. We've come to brighten up your day with our wit and beauty. That's the biggest joke I've heard so far. My name's Anastasia, but my friends call me Nasty. My name's Augustina, but my friends call me Gusty. I can't think why. This is a new outfit. See my bum looks big in this. Oh no, dear. It looks ginormous. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Um, I'm sorry. We're currently experiencing a high volume of calls to this number. Your call is important to us and you will be held in a queue. Thank you for your patience. We need to practice our little routine to impress Rocky tonight. Two, four, six, eight. Rocky, will you be my mate? Go Rocky! You need to practice more. You're cramping my style. It's not me. Your bloomers are too tight. Yes, he will be the Late Late Show, but he's not doing Saturday Night Live. What about Graham Norton? Get me Graham. So, Rocky, your fans want to know everything about you, and I mean <coughs> everything. You're public property now, you know. Would you just answer a few questions? What do you eat for breakfast? Something yummy, I hope, as our readers will no doubt copy you. What about girlfriends? Are there any truth to the rumours that you and Katy Perry shared a candlelight dinner after the Meteor Awards last month? Have you ever had a pet? What was its name? Do you know all about your school days? Did you have a favourite subject? Rocky has choco pops for breakfast. He works far too hard to have time for girlfriends. He once had a very cute cat called Rover, and his favourite subject was music, obviously. A cat called Rover? I've never had a cat in my life. You know I hate school and can't stand choco pops. That's all very well, but you have a promotion deal with them, so you'll have to be seen eating them every now and again. And I could have sworn that you mentioned something about studying music at school. I was in the choir when I was in school. My music teacher introduced me to some people in the music business. One thing led to another, and now this. Every person I meet wants to know everything about my entire life. It's too much. Some days I feel like opening up my Twitter account and announcing my retirement. You will love the business in this. It positively shrieks S-T-A-R. <coughs> if you try it on, we'll see if it needs any tweaking. <coughs> Now, Rock, let's get some poses for this photo shoot. Give me Thinking Man. <laughs> mean and Moody. Lost in Thought. Okay, good. Now let's do Rocky. Rocky. I'm sorry, Dan. I've made up my mind. This will be my last concert. I'm going back to being plain old Prince Charming. I thought this rock star celebrity stuff was what I wanted, but it's not all it's cracked up to be. Oh, come on now, Rocky. Don't throw it all away. I don't want to be the one who's going to have to beg you to stay. I do enjoy my cooking lessons with Monsieur Bonnebecke. His assistant Carl is in love with me. He says I give him a hard take. He meant hard burn after eating one of your rock cakes. He used the rest of them to build a new rockery. 
I've got something big and colourful, all yellow and red. <laughs> so you have that huge spot on your chin? Oh, you're just jealous because I have green fingers. Only because you're always picking your nose. Carl <laughs> says that I have skin like a baby. Yes, dear, a baby rhinoceros. <laughs> Thank you. 